and I tell you. And uh, I'm doing um, all the drawings for the legends that are going to be used for the screen. All, and somebody else is doing an animation for it. I'm just doing the drawing. I probably would say maybe seven, you know, little drawings. And I've been doing um, drawing. I want to fun arts, I want to commercial art, and then printing, you know, over the years. So that's all I ever do in my whole life. I live in Yellowknife for about uh, maybe 27 years now. And uh, when I started going to school, I never really went back to Iglerik. I've been, you know, here and there in Canada living here and there, doing my work, artwork. Une art, uh, it's, um, what I remember is uh, uh, when we all went to bed with the kids, my we used to urge uh, my father to tell us a story, all legends. And I think that's where um, got me um, that I like to do legends, period. I don't like to do new things, modern things. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said, one time I tried commercial, I hated it. So I went back to, over the years, got into legend, and that's what I like to do. I think, uh, you know, the best way I could uh, uh, describe it is that, uh, the legends for me is, uh, you know, a magical thing. So you're not stuck to a lot of things when you're doing artwork. There's a little bit of freedom in uh, legend, even though it doesn't tell you everything. But I try to follow what's uh, orally written. So a little bit of freedom in the old legends. You know, I could add things. And I can pretty well do what I want. Those guys. Uh, I guess it was looking at my uh, book about my life. And they noticed that uh, everything is pretty well uh, the beginning of, uh, of the world. Uh, like uh, how the light was made, how when there was no light and uh, how a woman became a first Nawa. A lot of my stuff are of that legend, the beginning of things. So I think uh, they got that idea from there. And uh, they asked me to do a uh, drawing. I think I work here in um, probably 
69 maybe uh, with the Anna B because I also work with Anna B too in Montreal yeah and uh, they were this uh, filmmaker was animator was doing some um, little legends about the owl and the lemming and I got involved with that. Well, I hope uh, it will be well enough made, you know, and learn about uh, legends that people might not know that we do have a lot of legends. There is uh, one section, uh, it was always daylight, and there's a hare, a, a rabbit, and a raven, and the other one could hunt all day, and the other one can't go hunting because somebody will see him, you know, stalking or something. So they started arguing about uh, daylight, because the other one wants to uh, go hunting too. He can't. So they were kind of arguing, you know, and somebody mentioned, Maybe I could give you part of the day and you could have the night part of, you know, cut it in half. So there'll be a night time for you to hunt. And they end up fighting because they were so angry at each other. <laughs> that was kind of cute. <laughs> So eventually, they agreed on day and night. And that's how we have daytime and nighttime. Because different uh, animals hunt, either day or night. That's one of the little stories. Mm -hmm.